Hello, my wonderful friends. Meg is here on a beautiful day in Asha. If you're brand new to the channel, we're Zoroastrians. We are the Magi. And oh, do I have a beautiful message for you today. Uh, if, if you are brand new, let me just tell you, Zoroastrianism was the original religion. And I promise you, it will can completely change your life. As a matter of fact, I have to talk about this in the comments this morning. Maria said that because of Asha, it got her through the toughest time in her life. And I love hearing your testimonies like that. But think about this. Uh, the story, uh, the testimony of my wonderful friend in Florida had OCD from when he was a child up into his adulthood where it was getting worse and worse. By the time he was in his 40s, it had gotten so bad, he lost his family his career, everything was falling apart. And he had to drink himself blacked out drunk every night to stop the torment in his own mind. And I told him before I left Florida that Asha would heal him. And he told me, you know, I've been to all the doctors. Since I was a kid, my parents were dragging me. Now I have all this money. He was very successful. Uh, spent all the money on all the drugs, all the doctors, all the latest treatments, and it was getting worse and worse. And he said, I appreciate that, what you're saying. But he, he like, he didn't want to hurt my feelings. That's how good his heart was. But he's like, don't get your hopes up. I said, you'll see. Before I left Florida, he was 100% completely healed. And I shared the story. He came running up to me, tears flowing down his eyes, yelling, I'm healed, I'm healed. He didn't care who on the beach heard. What is the power in that? And I'm going to show you that. And it, well, I'll tell you what also brought on this video. Uh, a new follower that just happened to come across his channel. And he was saying, I'm sure it's no accident. But he was saying, this message is what will bring Frasho Coretti. Which is, <coughs> basically, let me just break it down. It's when the angels, the good gods, the good spirits, love, peace, joy, are so powerful that, that the world is beautiful, right? It's like the perfect creator's perfect idea, heaven on earth, right? And when the angels and the good gods and spirits and those high frequencies of love are so strong, it weakens those evil spirits and those demons and those devils and those mixed monster gods. They lose all their power, right? Because when the truth comes, the lies expose. It loses all of its power. And I needed you to see this, like with my friend in Florida. The doctors basically couldn't help them. Think about this. They, they, they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to, to get degrees and the latest chemicals and medications couldn't heal them. But this tiny orange book did. Why? Because it's truth. My friend, I'm no doctor. I'm no healer. It's the word in these words, the original word. And I'm sure, you know what? You've experienced this, I have no doubt. You see this with addictions. There, there's those spirits of addiction that are so strong, right? And it's almost to the point nowadays, I have friends, close friends, that are, they, they have those uh, recovery mansions in Laguna where, where rock stars and famous people come to get healed, but they never get healed. Why? It's because of those dark forces are so strong over the world. Now, here's where the rub is. And what I'm about to say is not going to make you happy. I know that. But you know what Jesus said? When the truth comes, it, it, it knocks the, the legs out from under you. Right? You, you get like almost discomforted. Like, what's going on? My whole world is coming apart. But then you rule over the all. It'll change everything. I'm going to share that with you. But first, I got to tell you this. This is so funny. Uh, do you know I did a collaboration with the Baptist preacher on on a book not just any baptist preacher the longest or the largest baptist church in southern california 
huge. And it, we've been going through, you know, bringing a lot of our old BFA books back into print. I had forgotten about this one because it's so ridiculous. And But there's a story in there that would have went perfect. And I was looking all over. I don't have the book anymore, but I know my parents do. So after I'm done with this video, I'm going to jump in the car, go to their house, get that book. Because <coughs> my mom, you know, she's a Baptist. She loved that book. Uh, she's not too sure about our other stuff, but she loved that book. And I'm going to go get it and I'll bring it back. I'll make a video tonight and share it with you guys. Can you believe that though? A Zoroastrian priest and a Baptist preacher and we collab on a book. And I there, there's some really good stories in there, it, but it's so ridiculous. Uh, but I'll go get that and I'll share that with you later. Okay, back to what I'm talking about here. I, I want to read from our book, uh, Asha 5 and Asha 13. Uh We'll start with Asha 13. It says the original word is all good comes from the creator and no evil comes from him. Now, my friends, this was written before Judaism, Islam, Christianity. This is what I need you to get. This is what heals people from addictions and OCD and anything. We've seen testimony after testimony. Gets people through the hardest times in their lives. We're going to restore God's image. God's image has been changed with the religions that followed. They added attributes to him that aren't his. So the original word, the, the original frequency, energy, spirit that brought the very first world into it, form and matter, time and space, it was just good unmixed undefiled undiluted that's what zoroaster means it was pure light it was love without the hate it was peace without the war it, it right it was just good god and here's what we're going to do today i want this to stick in your mind i'm and i'm going to be um relentless with this a restore god's image restore god's image restore god's image that's what saved everyone that has given testimony over the many, many years here on this channel, they did this, restored God's image back to pure light, undefiled, undiluted, unmixed, unmixed, unmixed. All good comes from the creator and no evil comes from him. From this original word, again, it's energy, right? Makes form and matter. So this spirit, this energy, this idea, this, this true story, this truth, here's what it does. It says, it makes the spiritual world straight, meaning it's an alignment, attunement. You're attuning yourself. You're aligning all that you are with that frequency, that energy, that story, that truth, that idea of this, the all good God. Restore God's image back to pure light. This is where the rub comes. This is where the trouble uh, that people have getting to hear. In original religion, God did not get angry, jealous, hate, war, kill men, women, and children. Right? He was just good. All of his stories were good. There's never any confusion. Is this God or is this the devil talking? Is this a good thing or is this a bad thing? Right? Stone your children when they're disrespectful. Could you imagine a mother trying to figure out with the way she was raised? Is this good or bad? Is this right or wrong? Am I going to regret this tomorrow when my child's not in the earth anymore? When I can't go in there and rock him and kiss his forehead and say, I love you and hear his voice say, I love you too, mommy. Well, he was disrespectful and Jehovah said, to stone it stop it can you imagine the hell that creates more low frequency look around the world guys with, with, with all the wars going on jehovah's allah's right it, all the wars it's the wrong spirit the wrong energy making the wrong form and matter we got to restore god's image and take that spirit that energy that god into us uh, let it become us where we are that i am the love i am the peace i am the kindness i am the goodness and when we're all speaking that the angels the good spirits are strengthened and addiction 
and OCD and evil and hate and war can't live in it. It's too weak because the truth has removed the lie. So simple. Good is good. Bad is bad. Flip over to Asha 5. This book is for sale at Amazon, $3.83. And remember, leave a review there. Chapter 5. Believe only the highest truth and you enter Asha. All the healings you've heard about on this, where they enter Asha, heaven on earth, Frasho Coretti, their good, their health, their peace, their joy. Why? Because they believe the highest truth. They restored God's image, the highest truth, the all good God. This God doesn't love and hate. He's not at peace and war. He doesn't heal and send disease. If God speaks to you, there's never any confusion. You know it's God because it's good. The original, restore God's image. If you all want to screenshot this and refer to it later. As the wise Lord is perfect. Do you believe that? Do you believe he's perfect? He's just good, unmixed, undefiled, undiluted. He doesn't have to get angry, hate. He can just stay in his high frequency. Just be God good. The highest principle of good. This is what's going to take. You've got to restore God's image. Are you brave enough? It's awfully easy. <laughs> As the wise Lord is perfect. So his idea of creation is perfect. This is called Asha, truth. This idea of truth is the very spirit of God. Spirit, energy makes form and matter. Restore God's image. He's perfect. The only thing that could come from his perfect mind is perfection, love, peace, joy, power, freedom, good. Unmixed, undefiled, undiluted, pure light. You know this is true because you come from the light. You're made of the light. You shall return to the light. That light is in you. It's the divine spark, the fravashi that is deep inside. Go inside and you will go up. My friends, those high frequencies, the true God, the truth, all good. Restore God's image. It is the true vision of God's ideal existence. It is the real above all real. This nightmare you see going on in the world, it's not real, my friends. It's not the perfect creator's perfect idea. You want to see the lie and the illusion go away. Come back to the real. Come back to the truth. Restore God's image. It is the highest truth. It is creation in perfect order and perfect harmony, where nothing occurs at the expense or harm of another. Asha is. That is what is truth. Beautiful Magi, I'm going to ask you today, share this video with one person today. One person today, share this message with. You know, people always ask me, how do I become a Zoroastrian? One, I tell them, religion, it's a heart thing. Just believe. Restore God's image. Right? You'll be a follower of Zarathustra. But Zarathustra also did say, and I can't leave this out, if you want to join the Magi, right? This brotherhood. He said, then share my message. Share this video with one person today. No, I love you. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in the car, go over to my parents' house, grab that book, and, and we'll start going through it. My God, we we've uh come has come back into print. Uh, still pulls of the mind has come back into print. This is in the last month. And uh, yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before, we went through Beauty for Ashes. This is still out of print. Uh, and now I'm going to go find this other book. I can't even remember the name of it. You know, we, we've, over the years, have had so many books here at BFA book, Books. I, I, I can remember some of the stories. I can remember what the cover looks like. I can't even remember the name of this book. But it's... I wanted to tell a story out of it for today's message and I couldn't find it. I'm all, I don't even have that book anymore. And then I started thinking, how ridiculous and wonderful is it that uh, a Zoroastrian priest and one of the largest churches in California, Baptist churches, came together and worked together and made a pretty beautiful book, really, when I think back about it. Anxious to read back through it, refresh my memory. Guys, I'll see you tonight. I love, love, love you.